Welcome back to another PC gaming build video in our series for February 2018. Don't forget to check out all the Amazon links in the description below for all products used. And finally we have connected our GPU 8 pin power connector into the power link adapter on the side. It looks very clean. I like the way it looks. It's, all the cables are out of the way. They're kind of to the side and not over the top of the unit. And here's our final view of the inside of the machine with all components installed. We did the CPU with the liquid cooler on top of it, the four sticks of memory hooked up all the cables from the motherboard. There's a graphics card with the power link adapter, two SSDs, one boot drive, and one gaming drive for larger storage. All the fans are in place. And the very last thing to do is cable management. So flipping it over on the ugly side of the case is where we will need to spend a lot of our time. Now, this side of the case was the most troublesome side because of all the components with all their cabling. The clearance between the actual side panel and the motherboard back end of it is very, very narrow. So a lot of these cables have to be tucked away and properly routed uh, so that we can get rid of a lot of the slack in these cables uh, so they don't bunch up and create a problem when you're putting on the side panel. So you may have to sit here and do quite a bit of finagling and making it look pretty not only for the sake of visuals, but to make the case side fit. Once you have all the cables in place and are okay with the way it looks, let's put on the side panel and cover up the mess. All right, so we put on the side panel and the top. Man, it looks really clean. I really like the look of this case. Yeah, I like the clean lines of it. And all the mess back there is tucked away. And hopefully you won't see it from the front as we're turning the PC around. Nope, we don't. See, it's all hidden squared away back there. It looks really nice. And of course, the final panel is the window panel, the best seat in the house to actually see through the window to the inside of the PC showing off what you got going on in there. This window has both film on inside and outside on the glass so after we're done we'll have to use some Windex or some kind of window cleaner to clean off all the smudges because you don't want fingerprints on the glass. And I think we are ready to turn it on for the first time. Let's try it out. This is an RGB build, so what better way to do it than with the lights off and let's see what happens. And it's booting up and it looks like it's... Wow, there's a bright red code light at the bottom, which is very, very pronounced. I hope we can maybe turn that off, but otherwise I think it looks great. All the lights are lighting up here. It's just a very, like, kind of a lighter blue shade blue and white combo with one red light at the bottom which I have to look up what code AO or A0 even means. So far it looks like it's booted up and ready to go. Yeah, it looks very very subtle, very very blue that's for sure. You can change this to any color you want I would imagine in the software that is included. You just have to sync it all up and install it. But yeah, so far it looks like everything's working. Even the uh, NZXT AIO liquid cooler spinning. So that does look like it's working. And later on you can also go into the BIOS and look on that screen there to see the temperatures and everything. So far everything looks like it's up and running. It really looks quite neat. And I don't know how the camera's catching this low light situation, but uh, from where I'm sitting here, it looks really good in the dark. Really surprising. So let's go ahead and we're going to turn back on the light just in the background, just so you can see a little bit of the white of the case to see for what does it look like in kind of a somewhat lit room. 
Alright, so we turned on the room light, and so there's the case. Still, the camera still can't really catch uh, the proper low light conditions, but you kind of get the idea. The lighting from inside the case is still really pronounced. Uh, that red light at the bottom is kind of annoying me, so I think at some point I may consider covering that up or something, because I, I don't know if there's a way to disable that code. But yeah, let's turn off the light again. And now we only have the light coming from the monitor of which I have it connected to. And that's our only light source. It still looks really good. I do like the way it looks. It's very uh, aesthetically pleasing to me. And everyone may have their idea or their own idea of what RGB and how much of it there should be. But I like this. This uh, looks really good, except I need to take care of that red code light. All right, so one final flyby. I did go ahead and cover the little code, digital code readout light down there with some black electrical tape. You can probably still see it a little bit. Yeah, there it is right there, but it's definitely covered. And in the dark like this, um, and with the case cover on, I doubt that I'm going to be you know, noticing it too much. Yeah, that's how I covered it up. It looks really good. I, I do enjoy the aesthetics, the looks of it, and I think it's gonna be uh, a pretty neat looking, you know, device while it's while I'm playing game, doing stuff with it, and being able to look through the window at all the componentry inside. Well, this about wraps up the entire build video series. Thanks so much for watching. If you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Check out the links in the description below for all the products used. We will catch you next time in another video.